Hello, and thanks to everyone for joining us today. Um, I appreciate it. I know the weather here in Washington um, has been certainly a challenge for all of us, um, but we're glad to be with you uh, this afternoon. The health insurance reform debate began nearly two years ago in the Senate Finance Committee, which I'm a member. The time now is to act. Um, after months of intense work and a full and transparent debate on the Senate floor, um, I will vote for the revised Senate health care plan uh, because it will lower health care costs, expand access to more than 400,000 uninsured Arkansans, and reduce the deficit by $132 billion in the next 10 years, all without a new government plan that places taxpayers at risk. We have fought hard, I have fought hard, in both the committee and now in the full body of the Senate to ensure that we could have improved this bill to reach these goals. It may not be the bill that I would have written, but I do believe this final product is a significant improvement from the status quo. This final Senate bill changes the way insurance companies do business to offer uh, families more stability and to reassure our small businesses and self-employed that health insurance companies will no longer dictate their bottom line. Under the new framework, no longer will you be denied coverage because of a pre-existing condition. No longer can your health insurance company raise your rates or drop you because you've become sick. You'll be able to keep your coverage even if you lose your job, and insurers will be penalized for unfair rate hikes. Seniors will be guaranteed the same guaranteed Medicare benefits or better benefits than they receive today, despite uh, disingenuous claims to the contrary. Small businesses will get the help that they need to access coverage, placing them at the competitive advantage larger corporations have enjoyed for years. I successfully pushed for an additional $14 billion in tax credits for our small businesses for a total of $38 billion worth of tax credits um, in, the underlying, in the, bill, the underlying bill and the amendments we've passed. And I successfully pushed to eliminate the mandate on small business to purchase coverage because in many conversations with Arkansas small business owners, it's not a matter of their wanting to provide coverage for their workers, but a matter of being able to find affordable options. Small businesses, the self-employed, their families, and other individuals will be able to shop for coverage among a range of quality, affordable private insurance plans through the health insurance exchange to be established in Arkansas. Within the exchanges, the state exchanges, we have set up a program similar to the Federal Employees Health Program. Insurance plans can be sold nationwide, multi-state nationwide plans, with a proven federal negotiator, the Office of Personnel Management, that currently administers plans for federal employees to help it keep their insurance rates affordable and ensure plans are abounding by fair rules. These are proposals that I have been pushing since 2004, being able to allow uh, uh, American small businesses, self-employed, independent contractors, the same opportunities that we have as elected officials and government employees to be able to have a negotiated plan that gives us meaningful coverage at a lower cost. Now that the Senate is nearing the end of this long road, and it is clear my goals have been met, namely expanding access to 31 million Americans and more than 400,000 Arkansans, and changing the way insurance companies do business without adding to the deficit and placing taxpayers at risk with an expansion of government, I'm proud to support the Senate's final version and the, the Senate's final proposal.